let's go. Pete, where are you? Fly to heaven. That's our kid, Tip Candy. Fly to our mother. Ladybug, my mom also lives in heaven. When you fly away, say hello to her for me. Will you please? How long should I have to wait for you? Love Trial, Part 1. Half a pound. Here you go. Enjoy them, kids. Do you like them? Alzveda, uh, please put it in that stack. He will pay you afterward, it's always. Okay. Let's go, Pete. Goodbye. Goodbye. Double. All right. You can go. Dylan, only don't drive too fast. Take Nani and Nikolai. I talked to him. All right? I will, Paul. Don't worry about it. It's not my first time. I'll be right back. All right, get going. Yes. Zoe, darling. My lower back aches a lot. I just can't take it anymore. Maybe you can give me an ointment. <sighs> I'm tired of you, Valerie. There's no ointment that can help your back. You're already old, but you're still somehow working. Of course I work. I can't live without work. Come back in two hours. I'm about to have lunch. Lunch? Yes. Okay, I'll be. Why did you bring so much food again, huh? It's not necessary. I still have sandwiches. I want to do everything for you, my dear. I wouldn't have done this for myself. It's not healthy to just eat sandwiches. I'm telling you this as a doctor. Believe me. So here are some potatoes, salad, some meat too. Come on, there's plenty for both of us. Here are some cucumbers. There was salt somewhere. Here, take this napkin. I miss you so much, Paul. I am tired of waiting. I need you to love me, hmm? Zoe. I carried over half a ton of honey today. Do you think I have any strength left? I don't think you're getting any younger. Paul, my dear, marry me. Aren't you tired of being alone? I can make you happy. Zoe. Please, come on. Let's not talk about it. I don't have time for marriage. I have two kids to look out for. I need to look after them, and I need to take care of my business. Do you think I have any time left? Really? Mm, it's easier to raise the kids together. You have to get to know them first. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah. Everything is looking good, young man. <laughs> Hello, Grant! Uh, uh. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Nice to see you. Oh, watch it over there, Lucy. Let me help you. You can fall. Uh, uh, 
outdated, Paul. Embroidered pads, napkins, you should think about throwing everything away. No! Mom embroidered them! Lucy, wait. No one is throwing anything out. Zoe, it's not the right time now. What did I say now? Have a seat. Come on, my girl, show us. What have you made for us today, honey? Yeah, show us. Buckwheat porridge. Wait, it's my favorite. Again? Ooh, my favorite. I love Buckwheat very much. It's my favorite. What about you, Zoe? It's my favorite too, dear. It makes you grow strong and healthy. Thank you. You can add some milk to the porridge. That way you won't see that it, well, burned a little. <clears throat> Why not? It tastes even better with milk. Right, Zoe? If I were living in this house, everything would be in order. No dust, no dirt, a dinner with three courses, and... <laughs> What's the matter? Why do you always have to be like that? What have you done? It's a new dress. Why did you do that? Zoe, let the child go. Pete, go with your sister. What am I gonna do now? It's a new dress. Take this. This is for the ruined dress. This was my favorite dress. And you ruined it for good, you little brat. You, you but you're gonna see. Um, oh, what do we have here? Oh, is you swearing again? I don't have time for you right now, old fool. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. You are a rude woman, Zoe. You are evil and unkind. Oh, Paul, the kids are fine. They're asleep mm -hmm. now. Thank you, Graham. I was with them, but this Go woman, uh, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> They're asleep? Mm-hmm. Come to my place. It won't work out between us. It will, Paul. I'm sure of that. I can see you don't like my children. I can see how much they annoy you. Well, let's have our own baby then. <laughs> I would love and take care of him. What about Lucy and Peter? Send them to an orphanage? I'm sorry, Zoe. You love no one but yourself. It's not true. I love you. It's not enough, Zoe. So you don't want to marry me? No. You won't find a better one than me anyway. You scared me.
Natasha, aren't you ready yet? Come in. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. Okay, Alex will be ready break in no time. Do you know what Alex just told me? He wants to get married. <laughs> to Marina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you love Marina, huh? Yes, she gave me the sticker as a gift. <laughs> well, that's a great reason to do it. How's your brother doing? Tolik is very close to being a captain. Congratulations. And he's only 25, right? Yeah. Well done. I'm so happy for him, but I miss him a lot. I have no one but Shusha to talk to these days. Let's go. Let's go, Alex. Let's go. Uh-huh. Shusha, be a good girl. Do you want me to pick up Alex up from school? I don't have anything to do anyway. I'll just read a book and watch some TV. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I touch the be water careful. in the fountain? <gasps> Alex, oh. oh my god! Oh. Don't cry. He's fine. <laughs> oh, oh no. blood. It's not a big deal. It's just a little scratch. Next time you won't go running like that, okay? Oh, that's it, that's it, my dear. Don't cry. <laughs> Natasha, you could become a really good mother. Oh, Alex, it has to hurt a lot. You have so much love in you. And you stop crying, okay? Too strict with the boy. Oh, he's fine. Really? Hey, Alex. Say hello to me. Right. Come on, go on. Hello, oh, bye. Hello there, thank you. you take care, bye. dear. Yeah, bye. Hello. Let's hurry up. Help me move these tables. I have some news. You won't believe it, but I received a marriage proposal. And I said yes! I'm getting married! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Well, anyway, this guy comes to see me at the end of my shift, and he asked me for the secret signs book. I looked in the catalog and said, sorry, we don't have it. I told him, you have to go and find it somewhere else. He looked at me and said... You're the one I'm looking for. Uh -huh. I'm gonna need more of this. Lisa, do you even love him? He's good, polite, he doesn't drink, and he gave me a ring. Look! <laughs> Hello. Hello. I came to return this book. Give it to me. It's all right. One moment. Here you go. Thank you. Bye. Natasha, have some cake. Lisa's is so lucky, isn't she? Mm -hmm. I think I will never get married. <laughs> when I was at school, I would always stay and do my homework while all of you would go on dates and parties, but not me. I remember. <laughs> you dropped out of college. Mm -hmm. You sold clothes to earn extra money. Your brother wanted to be a musician, remember? Yes, I did, but he didn't want to. I would have... I would have paid for it. Yes, you would have. You went with him when he joined the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. He approved his first term with honors. We didn't even need to bribe anyone. Tolik is very smart. <laughs> As for me, my life is wasted. Oh, come on. It's not wasted yet. Listen. Is it true you have never been with anybody? <sighs> Consider I'm a rare specimen in my own way. Isn't it funny? <laughs> Would you believe that? Just hilarious. Let me tell you. Someone like you... It's hard to find, but you will be found soon. Oh, hi. Who are you gossiping about now, huh? About Paul. How could he dump Zoe just like that? She's such a good woman. I bet he's going to regret it, right, Paul? Mm. The kids and I don't need anyone. We'll be fine on our own. 
You got that, Gossip Girls? Well, we'll see about that. Childcare department. You go straight and you will uh -huh. find it. Okay? okay, thank you. Wait! Come back here right now! Two small children live in neglect. Nobody knows what they eat. They're always filthy. The older one is Lucy. How old is she? She will turn eight soon, but she still doesn't go to school. She can't read nor write. Do you think that's normal? Pete, the younger one, is such a kind boy. Preschooler? Yes, he's four years old. He almost doesn't talk. So scared. I beg you, please, the government should do something. My heart aches for their fate. I can't imagine what they're going through. Mm, well, what about the father? He's an alcoholic. He doesn't give a dime about his kids. He's always annoyed with them. He yells at them all the time. Sometimes he even hits them. He's a very cruel man. You need to take those kids away from him. I beg you, please do something. Everything is going to be fine. Thank yeah. you. The attacker circles the defenders. The defenders fighting desperately. Well, he's going. Oh, well, it's not fair, I think. That's a penalty kick, right? Give Dad the ball. We'll put the ball at 11 paces. It's going to be a penalty kick. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are oh, you ready, Pete? Uh-huh. Come on, Pete. Huh? You can get it. Ooh. Hey, we won! Huh. We won! No! We're fixing that. Are you tired, kids? Here's some juice for you. Dad will have some beer. I want beer too! What? You want beer? <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Kovalenko. Yes? Hello, kids. Mm hmm. The children live here. They have a separate room, toys, uh. clothes, other things, you know? I see. We are seeing what it's needed. Mm. Well, you see? Mm. Everything is dirty in here. And the kids' clothes are dirty too. But we were outside playing football. You saw us. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, <laughs> we're partners. Hello, little girl. Tell me something, can you read? What's wrong with them? Are you scared? She's not scared. She's just shy when there are strangers. Mm. 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 Well, it makes sense now. It makes complete sense now. What makes sense? What are you writing down in there? Please don't raise your voice at us, will you, mister? Or next time we'll come with the police. Right? Right. Right. Lucy, take your brother and go play outside. I need to explain something to these kind inspectors. We were told that you're angry every day of the week and will behave like that. Really? And who warned you? Why your uh, daughter Lucy doesn't go to school? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. Write the following in your little notebook. Two years ago, their mother died. That's why the girl doesn't go to school. She just couldn't get over it. She was very sick for a while. But she is way better now. I'm doing the best I can to find a mother for my kids. And be their father. At the same time, that's it. Yeah. By the way, let me introduce you to Grant. Say hello to the inspector, Grant. Hello. 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 
Listen, Paul, we understand this is hard for you. But wouldn't it be easier to send your kids to the orphanage? They will be receiving all the necessary no care way. and... Uh, That's not gonna happen. I would never allow it. Do you realize this is not normal? It's not okay to leave your children with an old man. Children are a huge responsibility. We will give you some time to fix yeah. this, right? Mm. If this situation does not change in the near future, mm -hmm. we will send the children to an orphanage. Believe me, it will be better. You have to understand that this is for their best interest. Yeah. Let's go. Irina, I'm sorry. I won't be able to pick up Alex from school. Tolik returns today. Now, we'll put it in the oven at full temperature. This is Tolik's favorite dish. It will have a very nice crust. <sighs> Shuja, <laughs> do you remember how Tolik loved chicken with apples? <laughs> okay, great. Hello, hello. I missed you hello. so much. How are you? How are, are you, you dear? Sister, <laughs> um, this is Tata. Hello. Hello. Well, come on in. What are we waiting for? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Tolik, I'm allergic to cats. Want me to take her out? Mm-hmm. Look, dear, who is Tata? Why do you keep calling me dear? Are you serious? Uh, she's Tata. She's my fiance, and she'll live here. Any more questions? Hello, dear brother. Hello. Why are you so sad? What happened? Oh, it's nothing. Okay, let's go inside. After you. Michael, maybe you can help me. I need this favor. Do you have any contacts? In this committee, I need them to leave me and my kids alone. You are the district officer, after all. Hmm? Buddy. It's a different department. Understand? I don't think it'll work. Don't worry. We won't let them take the kids. Hmm? Tell me. Hmm. How did they find out? I don't know, and I don't know what to do. Get married, and it's over. You know, a woman around here would make things easier for you. They know mm -hmm. things. Zoe's already in line for that. Don't tell me. Mm -hmm. For real? She's doing her best. You can blame her. What did you say? Nothing. I can't imagine living with her. Besides... It would be even worse for the kids. To live with her than in an orphanage. Hmm, I see. Well, 
let's have a drink. Maybe we'll think of something, you know? Hmm? Thank you. I, I've already had a beer. Yes, Mom. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Hey, Paul. Yeah. My mother just made me lunch. Can I please go to have lunch with her? Huh? Go. All right, bye. So what do we have here? What do we have here? I'd like to meet the nice slim woman, Sign Leo. Not older than 20 years old. To create a strong and beautiful family. My hobbies are fishing, hiking. Hmm. If you are a short, slim woman, older than 50, I'd be glad to meet you. Are you having a bad day, Natasha? Is that better? <laughs> You're having a bad day. Are you going home? No. Um, I have to go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Natasha. Hello, sis. Hi, Tola. Can I talk to you for a minute? What are these people doing here? They're just some friends. Can't they have some fun with friends or what? Yes, you can. But then when are what? they leaving? I have to sleep, you know. Natasha, you're so boring. Anyway, I'll go. Wait, where's Shusha? Uh, she went out for some fresh air. Uh, she needed it. <laughs> Shusha! 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 Uh, oh, you found the cat? Uh, my head hurts. Pour some coffee, please. To look. Uh. Listen, I think Tara has been a bad influence for you. Of course, I don't know her very well, but... But I know her very well. Very well. She worked for three months in her galley. <laughs> three months? Tolik, think carefully. After all, there has always been a mutual understanding between us. We, we have always treated each other well, and you... Stop! Please! I will decide for myself what to do. I don't need your help anymore. You're not my mother. And leave Tate alone. We file for marriage. We're going to have a child. A boy. Or a girl. Hey, sis, come on. Why are you so sad? I love you very much. You're... Uh, you're my favorite sister. Everything's gonna be fine. I love you too, brother. Dear Tolik and Tata, I'm not good at giving speeches, but I'll give it a try. I wish you all the happiness in the world. And may your hearts beat at the same time forever. And kiss her! Yeah! Kiss her! Yeah! Kiss her! Kiss her! Kiss her! Kiss her! Strange sister, Tolik. Weirdo. We can't live with her. We need to sell a flat. We'll get a one bedroom flat. She'll get a room somewhere else. Taita, this isn't fair. Natasha raised me. She's like a mother to me. It's only fair. She lives alone. But there are two of us. Soon we will be three. But your Natasha, she's a hopeless old maid. Why do you say that? She is.
Hello, Paul. If appearance is not important, then I'm the one. Today. Morning. I would like a couple jars of honey. How much are they? Valerie, come later today. We'll talk then, okay? I'm kind of uh -huh. busy right now. Bye. Okay, I'm sure. Paul, are you good at dancing? What's that? Can you waltz or something? <laughs> you, because you've got a lot of mail. Mm. All from different women. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Valerie. Give them to me. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Who are they from? They're from Second Cousins. Is this answer good enough for you? Oh. Okay, for All now. All right, go on. I am very interested in your ad. I agreed to move to the countryside. <sighs> Please tell me, how many rooms are there in your house? Do you have a car? And how much do you make? Things are clear with you, you gold digger. My name is Natasha. I'm not pretty and not fashioned, but as I understand it, this is an important. I work as a librarian, and like children very much, I grew up without a mother. I've taken care of my brother since I was ten. I would like you to write me about your children. What are they like? What are they interested in? How old are they? Sincerely, Natasha. There you are. I was wondering who was banging on the door. Hey, Natasha, are you all right? Can't I take a shower or what? It's written to Natasha, from Paul Kovalenko. I like his handwriting. Dear Natasha, I'd like to tell you a few things about me. My favorite hobby and business is an apiary. I also have a garden. It's especially it's especially beautiful during the spring when the trees bloom. This garden was laid out back by my grandfather, so it's sort of a family tradition. You were asking about my kids? For me, they're the best. Pete's trying to talk, but he's kind of shy, so he's not very good at it. <laughs> my Lucy is trying to be an adult, yes. But sometimes she cries in her sleep. I believe that a man should provide and protect yeah. the family. The mm. woman keeps everything together. They say you have to find someone. You can always rely on. Someone to help and support you. 
I am probably that kind of man. <sighs> well, that's what I think, at least. Sign here, please. Excuse me, but my name is Alexander, not Paul. Please change it. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what's so funny? <laughs> I know. It's very late, my dear. I had to work. Did you have dinner? Well, that's great. Come on, let's go. Put you to bed. Up. Up. Hmm. Listen, kids. I invited some woman to stay with us. Perhaps she will become your new mother. Hooray! I want a new mother, though. <laughs> there you go. Dad, yeah. why do we need her? Lucy, why do you ask? I think it'll be easier for you and your brother. And me too. Here you have. Thank you. You're welcome. Natasha, uh, why are you wearing makeup? You're here, all dressed up? Where have you been? The boss has already asked for you hush, twice. Hush, hush, hush. Shh. Please let Shusha stay with you. It's only for a month. I can't let her stay with Tolik. Natasha, where were you? I've been looking all over the place for you. Oh, is it a male or a female cat? Mm. Oh, here. Are you leaving for a month? Are you kidding me? You already had vacations this year. This time it's without pay. If you don't let me go, I'll quit. Okay, what happened then? Explain it to me. I'm leaving. Going to a spa. Uh, it was a last minute offer. Yes. She's stressed. Well, you see, Paul invited me for a month, okay? So that way we can all get acquainted and see if it works. It will be like a trial period. You're kind of silent this morning. Are you nervous? Forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm not very good at breathing. I'm sorry. Honey, I'm nervous too. I am not nervous, Dad. 
I just don't want to have a new mom. Honey, you haven't seen her yet. Pete, come here. We're going to be late because of you. Pete! <laughs> what happened? Did you fall? Hurt yourself? Where does it hurt? Tell me. The new mom won't like me. <laughs> mm. Some homeless guy is here to meet me. I will try to leave now, okay? Goodbye. Hello. Hi. I need a one-way ticket. Where to? Not where. Away from here. Please hurry up. Mm. Hello. Can you give me some coins? For the surgery. <laughs> I really need it. Greg. Oh, you're very kind. If you don't go away, I'll perform that surgery on you myself. Now get out of here. Go, go away. Now. Wait a second. Your name is Greg, right? Yeah, that's how they call me. Here you go. Oh, is this for me? For my surgery? Just for not being Paul. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Hey, ma'am. What about the ticket away from here? <laughs> Are you my new mommy? Are you Paul? I'm Natasha. Hello. I can see that. This for you. What should you say? Thank you very much. I don't need your doll. Don't have time to play with it. been staring at me for half an hour. Not at all. I was looking at the road. The nature is beautiful here, as a natural reserve. <laughs> Pete, come here. Is it okay, Paul? You're very beautiful. Well, thank you. No one has ever said that to me. Paul's car. She doesn't seem to be a local. Paul even washed his car and put on a white shirt. Maybe she's from work. Raya, you gave me a rack money. Who are you looking at, huh? Paul had a woman in his car and she wasn't local, you know. She looked beautiful. <laughs> Not like your friend Zoe. Mm -hmm. Gossip woman. You're all lying. <laughs> we are not lying. You go on, tell her. Oh, sorry. Trouble. Paul had a woman in his car. Hey, 
soy. Did you hear what I said? Paul is doing this to make me jealous. But I won't let him. Hey, Zoe, my arm feels numb. It's turning blue. Hey. That's it, Valerie. Your blood pressure is normal. Now go home. And try not to come back. Sit down, Zveta. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to get attention around here. It's okay, Zveta. Okay. Paul will come back asking me for forgiveness. But I will make him suffer, you'll see. Come on, Lucy. I love a garden with flowers. Those are mom's flowers. Your house is beautiful. How did you imagine it would be? A hut with no doors? Come on, let me show you our gold manga. Let's go. She doesn't like being petted. Here's a gift for you. Oh, thank you, Pete. It's so fluffy and tiny. <laughs> oh, did you see that? He's already pecking. I did. Tell me, have you been out of the city? No, I used to go to a farm when I was four. Ooh, you have a cat. I also have a cat, Shusha. It's going to be hard for you here. Come on in. This is my bedroom. This is the living room. Here's the kids' room. So yeah, that's it. Ah. What now? And me? You what? Mm, where will I sleep? Well, you... You will sleep here. Natasha, let me have a look at your ID. What for? What for? I need to know who I'm letting into my house. Ah, oh, not a problem. That's all right. Here. Here you go. And now let me have a look at yours. Here's my driver's license. So, what else? Ah, yes. The bed sheets are in the closet. Food is in the refrigerator. There are bowls, dishes, and, uh, you'll find everything you need in there. Do you still think that we live poorly in the countryside? We have it all. Anything you need, I can get it for you. I've never thought that way. Doesn't matter. Let's consider your trial period has just started. Agreed. Tell me the truth. Is he a bomb or an alcoholic? <laughs> He's neither. Come on. I really like him. The question is, did he like me? Paul. What? What is she like? Your new girlfriend. Nothing special. Oh, really? I don't believe you. <laughs> is she pretty? Real pretty. Satisfied? <sighs> Grant, please don't tell anyone about it. What? That I found her in the newspapers. Understood? I regret it myself now, but... She won't get used to this lifestyle. Stupid idea. She's a city girl. Stop saying that. You don't know that. Time is wise. I'm telling you. Paul, the storm has flown out. Calm down. Stop yelling. Relax. Grab the swarming basket and let's go get them. We'll get those bees. Hey, Grant. Yeah. Not a word. Hmm. Paul, you know me. 
Today we will make a very special dinner. We'll sit down together at the table, we will tell different stories. For example, how's our day? We will eat meatballs, drink tea. Do you like homemade meatballs, Pete? I don't know yet. <laughs> They're really delicious. You'll like them. Lucy. Lucy, you can join us. It's more fun if you're with us. I'm going to need your help. Come on. I really need you to help me. Will you please come out? Look, Peter's already helping me. You should try it too. Lucy, tell me, what else did your mother cook? What is your favorite family dish, huh? I won't tell you anything. And never put on mom's apron again, ever. Monka, why is she giving orders all the time? She put on mom's apron. She has no right to be here. And she's not even that pretty. Lucy, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Really, I never thought, please forgive me. I took off the apron and put it back in its place. Sleep, my boy. Sleep, my sweet boy. Sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. If the bough breaks, the cradle will fall. Mama will catch you, cradle and all. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. You don't like me, huh? But I really like you. You're kind and grown-up girl. Your daddy loves you very much. Will you stop bothering me? And stop following me? And I don't need you singing your stupid lullabies. Good evening. It's really late. Are the kids sleeping? Of course, they're sleeping. I wanted to be a family. To sit together at the table, but you didn't make things easy for me, on the contrary. 
I thought we were all going to sit down on the table, have dinner, and get acquainted. We have waited for you for hours, but... But what? I have work. Natasha, you have to adapt to my schedule. And I don't want to hear you complaining about it. I made it clear to you that I was looking for a mother to my children and not for the love of my life. Is that clear enough for you? I don't want to hear you complaining about me getting home late. A jerk. Are you awake, Paul? I can't sleep either. Do you want some tea? Come on, have some. Sure. Why are you so gloomy? <sighs> Did your kids do something? Uh, no. <laughs> the pretty one. <laughs> she turned out to have a temper. You see, she fixed dinner for all the family, but I didn't make it on time. So you already had a fight, huh? She scolded me like a schoolboy. <sighs> and then she called me a jerk. <laughs> Where did she find such a word? Defiantly slammed the door, and then she went to bed really mad. Ah, so she has an attitude. She's not from around here. Uh, uh, listen, Paul, maybe she's a kind of swindler, and she's here to rob your house. I just saw that on TV. Grant, here's your tea. Thanks. Go to bed, TV man. Go. Go, uh, go, go. You'll be just fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Slowly, don't eat it all at once. Dad, can we go to the river with Mother and Natasha to swim, please? She's not our mom, Pete. Dad. What? Daddy. I want her to leave, Daddy, please. And everything will be like before. Honey, Natasha will stay. And you will listen to her and help her with everything, is that clear? You're a good girl. You have to understand. We don't have another choice. Eat before it gets cold. Come on, come on. Good morning, Natasha. Here, um, this is my mobile number. In case of an emergency, you can call me, you know? And today, I will try to get back earlier from work. By the way, nice dress, stylish, but um, it's a little wet. Are you kidding me? I just wanted to wash up in the water. Don't look at me. Sorry, bye. And if you need hot water, 
to take a bath. There's a boiler in the house. I wanted to wash my face in a rustic way with cold well water. Mm. Nice dress. We have hot water. Huh? Lucy, can you bring me a towel, please? Come on, come on. I am Grant, and you are Natasha, right? Yes, I'm Natasha, hello. Well, hello. Why did you come to our village? For a better life? No way, of course not. Well, maybe it all depends. Mm, exactly. Are you divorced? No place to live? I have my own flat in the city. How much do you make? I make enough, believe me. Hmm. Why are you interrogating me? Of course. Paul is like a son to me. Do you understand? Do you get it? I got it. I counted all the napkins. You should also count all the furniture, and all the dishes, too. Don't even doubt it, I will. <laughs> As for you, you are very weedy, aren't you? Hey, Grant. Hmm? Why are you following me? Oh, man. I see that. You work hard on Cookwell. Just as a housewife. Oh. <laughs> I love it when it's clean. Mm -hmm. It's easier mm -hmm. to breathe this way. This is good. Oh, it's really hot today. My blood pressure must be low. I'm not feeling well. Stop working so hard. Take the kids and go to the riverbank to have a swim. Huh? Do you agree with me, Pitt? Yeah! Lucy, come here with us. The water's warm. If you can't swim, I will teach you. <laughs> My mother swam better than you. Of course she did, Lucy. <laughs> of course. Come here, Peter. Your lips are already blue. Let's get out. It's time for lunch. <laughs> Thank you.
Holocausto. to go. But we're not done here. Dylan. Hello, Paul. I brought you some cold beer. I made it myself with my own hands. Thanks, but no thanks. Can I have it? Thank you. <sighs> Zoe. What? What are you doing here? The whole town is laughing at you, Paul. Your girlfriend walked on Main Street almost naked. Really? Completely naked? Dylan! She has no shame whatsoever walking like that in her underwear? Everyone was looking at her like a freak, but she looks so relaxed. Huh. Like she is used to walking like that all the time, I wonder if she walks like that in the house with your kids around. Zoe! What? Stop rambling. I'm really fed up with your gossip. Paul! Who is she, anyway? I'm not answering to you. I already know it. You brought that girl into your house to make me angry. I understand that you don't want to get married, but we could be open about it and live together. Zoe, please stop, girl. We are not doing anything, hmm? Dylan. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Come here. But we're not done here. Thanks for the beer. Open the jar. Hurry up. Closer. Yes, I have it. Uh. Dad, Dad! Daddy's here! Pete, go inside. We picked up some flowers in the meadow. Aren't they beautiful? Natasha, I don't know what it's like in the city, but here people... Don't walk around in their underwear. So you already know about that. You're a decent, well-mannered woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? Forgive me. It was just very hot. It won't happen again. Lucy. Lucy. I know that you took my clothes, okay? And I had to lie to your father. And I don't like to lie. I understand that I will not be able to replace your mother. No one can replace a mother, I know this firsthand. But I want to be friends with you. Lucy, I'll give you some time to think about it. <laughs> she is handy. Hard working, despite being from the city. Uh, oh yes, I had what she made for lunch. And the meatballs, they were the best. Oh, really? You didn't leave any for me? I did, I did. I'm saying that she's good for you, Paul. I really think that. The only problem is, she's too skinny. Well, she can put on some weight here, you know? Mm -hmm. Listen, Paul. What, what do it? you think about me posting my profile in the newspaper? Mm-hmm. Two sticks together and one end with a crossbar makes the letter A. Very well. 
Read me some more. So the prince walked for many miles until he reached a swamp. Suddenly he saw a frog holding his arrow. Then the prince told her, Frog, frog, give me my arrow. But she replied, But real frogs can talk. This one is a magic frog. (laughs) (laughs) Dad, you're here. Natasha is reading a fairy tale to me. I'm going to sit here. Okay, so, where were we? Ah, here we are. Mm Mm-hmm. The frog answered back to the prince, Marry me, I love you. I am your destiny, Prince Ivan. What? Is that really what it says? Um, It's not an interesting fairy tale. Uh, It's time for bed now. Oh, Lucy is ready for bed too. Oh, come here. Opa. Uh, Well done, Natasha Igorov. Well done. You've got yourself a sunburn. Let's see. This is the gas. And this one is the brake. Where are we going? (sighs) Paul, you have an amazing talent to catch me in ridiculous situations. And this is my fault? Who's then? Is that your nightgown? It's a dress. Hmm, it's pretty. I would say the style fits you. I can see you're not into fashion. Natasha, I'm going to the river to swim. Want to join me? doing? I'm fine. How's my Susha? Susha is a happy cat. She eats a lot, you know. How are you? Well, I'm good. Hey, you... Irina. Hmm. I think that Paul likes me. Did he say that to you? No, but I feel that... I don't know how to explain it. There's something there when he looks at me (laughs) and I have a goosebumps. Oh, all over my body. And he loves the kids very now much. Now she's got goosebumps. In my opinion, my dear, you're falling for him. Oh, dear. I think you're right. How do you like the garden I wrote to you about? Oh, it's very beautiful. Why are so many bees here? It's just my apiary. Don't weave your hands around. They won't sting you. Is the apiary a family tradition? Well, something like that. My grandfather was a beekeeper, and my dad too, and I decided to continue this tradition. It's a long story. I am very interested in hearing this. It's just, in the last few days, I got so much new information. New place, new people. 
I need time to process it all. To process it? Like a computer, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Let's have some lunch now. Bon appétit to you all. What do you say? Thank you, Mother Natasha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Your wreath is beautiful. <sighs> and the soup. <clears throat> is edible. Well, it's too salty for me. <clears throat> this can't be, I... Apparently the cook wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like your slingshot is ready. Thank you, Gramps. <laughs> Have you seen Lucy? The girl is hiding at my place. It seems like she doesn't want to go back home. Natasha, you should be a little kinder to her. Grant, I don't even know what to do. I've, I've tried everything with her, but she just doesn't... Oh, uh, yeah. The soul, it was her, right? Yeah. It was her. Mm. Just don't tell Paul. I don't want him to get mad at Lucy because of me, you know? Grant. Tell me, please. What was Lucy and Pete's mother like? Oh, what was she like? Oh, well, she was a good woman. Kind. She was extremely beautiful. A talented singer as well. I woke up in the mornings and she was already singing. <laughs> so beautiful. She loved her kids very much. How can I get Lucy to accept me? You know, Lucy is also a woman, only a small one. All women are complicated, huh? <laughs> they love lipsticks and clothes. <laughs> I know you can think of something. When I was cleaning, I saw a sewing machine. We need to sew a new dress for Lucy. Uh-huh. I have no fabric. Will cotton do? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I've had it since 1982. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Back then the quality was excellent. <laughs> I'll make her a nice summer dress, thank you. Uh, do you know how this machine works? I do. Very well then. <laughs> Lucy, wait. Come here, please. All right. Aren't you mad at me? For what? You did something bad? I'm the one who ruined your soup. I thought it was me who salted it twice. How do you prefer your dress, long or short? I don't care. I'll cut the fabric and you'll try it on. Okay? One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm ready! You just sit there, Pete. You can put a lace right here. It will be beautiful. Well, do you like it? <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful on you. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Natasha. It's great that you're getting along so well. These are for you. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Lucy. Here. This is for you. Uh, where's Peter? Probably somewhere in the backyard. Lucy, have you seen your brother? Me? No. Mm. Pete! Pete! <laughs> Darling, answer me! Where could he have gone? Natasha, how could this happen? I thought he was with Grant. I was sleeping and didn't know the kid was missing. You're the one who's supposed to be taking care of them. Never mind now. Natasha, where's my son? He never leaves the house alone. Did you yell at him? Did you hit him? No, of course not. Then what happened? It's my fault. I'll find him. I'm very sorry. I'll find him. We'll find him. Grant, look in the field. Oh. Natasha is Vera's relative. She's her second cousin. I just wish she hadn't come. I know you're mad at me, Paul, but we need to find Pete. Mm -hmm. Dad, um, can I go home? Yes, of course. Let's go. I'll be right out. Go on and straight to bed. Lisa! We need to split up and search everywhere. Come on, let's go. Yeah.
are you? Where are you? Come back! Love Trial, Peter, part two. Peter! There's nothing over there! Oh man, I've looked everywhere. No sign of him. I'm so sorry, Paul. I won't forgive myself if something happens to Pete. Don't even think about it. That bead is an apiary. You know something? I don't think that you look like your sister. What sister? Vera? Listen, Michael, you better call Dylan. Are you kidding me? I have no signal. Will you please try to drive faster? I'm driving as fast as I can. If you don't like it, you can walk. It's Crap. stuck! We're stuck. What do I do? Move! Get behind the wheel. Sit there. It's very simple. Come on, Michael. Yeah! Let's Come do on. it. I'm gonna push it! Go, 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 go! Let's Come do on, this! Natasha. Get the gas! I don't know what I'm doing! Come on! It's not moving! Is it really so difficult to just do what I say? Don't yell at me, okay? This is my first time behind the yeah. wheel! If it's so easy for you, then you do it yourself! Go then! I'll go walking! We need to cut some branches! Put them under the wheel, and then we'll get some traction to get out of here! Ugh. Natasha! What happened? Are you okay? It hurts! Stop, 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 stop! My leg! Your leg? Yes! I'm sorry, Paul. I'm nothing but trouble. I could not take care of Pete. I twisted my ankle. I take back each and every word I said. I have to find my son. But first, I have to take care of you. Don't! Don't worry about me. I don't want to be a burden. <gasps> don't! What are you doing? Just hold on tight, or we're gonna fall together, okay? You understand me? That's great. Don't worry about me. I'll be here. <sighs> Natasha, sit here. We're finally here. I put the kettle on now. You need something dry to change into. Listen, don't worry, okay? We'll find him, I'm sure. Uh, we'll call the police department. If necessary, we'll raise an army. Did I already win? Natasha, I brought you a prince just like in the fruit tale. Do you like it? Oh dear. Pete. Unarmed. My sweetheart. Oh dear. <laughs> My dear. You just called me mom. Paul, come home. We found your son. Here. Peter, is that you? <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing here? Come on, let's go home. Quickly!
Pete, dear. Are you okay? Where have you been? Tell me, please. In a hut. I was playing with Lucy, Dad. Dear, why were you hiding there? We were playing hide and seek. She promised me candy. She promised. Candy, huh? <sighs> oh, thank God. Thank God. You found the boy. <sighs> Lucy, I want to talk to you. Oh, stop screaming. She is in the barn hiding. She was crying with the goat. There you are. Your behavior has no justification. Do you even know what I've been through? What we've all been through? I have never raised a hand to you, but it looks like the time- Paul, don't touch her! Look at her! She's so scared! Come with me, come. She's soaking wet. Come on, darling, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Daddy, I lost your jacket too. You will buy me a new one. When you grow up. Now go. <sighs> Your hands and feet are still cold. I'm afraid you'll catch a cold. Close your eyes now. Tomorrow's going to be a new day. The sun will come out and everything will be fine. Natasha. Dad doesn't love me anymore? Of course he loves you. He's angry, but he will forgive you. Stay, don't leave. If you want, I'll teach you how to milk manka. I know you can do it. I really want that. But tomorrow. <laughs> now sleep. Come on, Paul. For warming up and stress relief. Let's have a drink. And thank God that everything turned out just fine. Hey, Gran, stop sleeping. You want another uh, one? No, 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 no. I already had enough. <laughs> Your wife's sister is really nice. I kind of like her. Is she married? Michael, what do you want? Oh, Natasha, please sit down. Careful. Listen, you have to go now. Here, take your drink and go home. Come on. Are you now kicking us out of your house? Yeah. Bye. Oh, Natasha, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, Michael, let's get out of here. Uh, come on, I have Bye. to tell you something. Bye. Listen, uh, the other day. Don't move. I'll just examine the leg. Does it hurt like this? I... Careful. And that? I saw you have a medical center, so is there a doctor or a paramedic? There's a medical center, but we won't go there. Don't worry. There's no fracture. I'll apply an ice pack. There's no ice, only fish. Sorry. Cold has to be applied immediately. Okay. Then we'll tie it tight. I'll do it myself. It's okay. I don't want to give you any problems. Pete has already been found. I am leaving tomorrow. <sighs> Forgive me. I said bad things about you. Yelled. I was very scared for Pete, you know? <sighs> Children are the closest and dearest people to me. I can't imagine my life without them. I can see that. I've got attached to them too.
forgive me. Please forgive me. And smile at me like you used to. Please. Let me help you, huh? Here. Let's go. Oi. Slowly. Here. It's fine. Just don't leave. Okay? And I'll clean up the dishes, and... your name? My name is Natasha Sanderson. Can I sit down? Mm -mm. Your age? Is that necessary? Of course it is. It's for our files. Well, 35. I have to tell you that life begins at 35. What? I thought that's at 40. Mm -hmm. You married? That has nothing to do with my sore leg. As far as I can see, you're not married. There's no ring. What's wrong with the leg? I fell down. I know. You were searching for Paul's son all night, isn't it? Excuse me, but can you tell me how you are related to Paul? I am the second cousin of his wife, Vera. I help him with the children. Well, okay. Lie down on the couch. I will give you an injection. Come on, come on. Analgesic. There's nothing better than this. Zoe, I was looking for you. Oh. Valerie, what is wrong oh, with so you Oh, Zoe, it hurts so much. I think I have appendicitis. I need you to see what's wrong with me. Zoe, thank you. I can get home by myself. You should help the lady. <laughs> Natasha, what did I tell you? No bearing on foot. Come on, get on. Valerie, uh -huh. you have to wait for me. Sit there. Are you ready? For two hours. Yes. Okay. You know, Paul is a very important single man, and he is 
very handsome too. Every single woman wants to marry him. His house is the best and he has a very nice car. What do you think about that, huh? Any woman would be happy to marry him. You have strange criteria, Zoe. What did you say? I said that Paul himself is an interesting person. Wait, second cousin? If you have plans for him, forget it. Paul is not interested in getting married. One woman man. He cannot forget his wife Vera, your cousin. Have you seen his house? It is the same as it was with her. Curtains, napkins, her clothes, photos, everything still there. And no matter what I do, the day may come when tomorrow should all be... Crap. These are the things, Dylan. You know, that's life. <laughs> Paul, mm -hmm. it looks like you're in a good mood today. Uh-huh. Give me a claw hammer. A nail went crooked. I almost hurt myself. And who have you been looking for all morning, huh? You don't ask questions, but bring the parade now. Come on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, oh, or maybe we'll paint it after lunch. After lunch? Uh-huh. Well, if you want after lunch. Mom cooked cabbage rolls with sour cream so delicious. Okay. No, I'm going home. But you always have lunch here. And now I want to go home. That's it. Yeah. Bye. Okay. See ya. A cough. Lucy, I don't like it. N Natasha, look. Together at the seaside. Me, my mom, dad, Pete, and this is little Pete with his pacifier. Look, Peter. Look, here's mom. Isn't she beautiful? Very. And you look like her. She had so many beautiful dresses. Wait, I'll show them to you now. Don't, Lucy! Here, this is her favorite one. <laughs> you can try it on. I won't be offended, honestly. Well? Who wants some candy? I do! I do, I do! <laughs> Take it. What's going on here? I was just telling Natasha about her mother. Lucy, take the dress to its place. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't do anything wrong, but I feel guilty. Like I was spying on someone else's life through the keyhole, I... How is your leg? Better. I'll serve lunch now. No, don't worry. We'll take care of it. Pete, take the forks and let's go. One, two, Natasha. Three, four. The let's fish go, is Peter. ready. Should I take it out? Yeah, bring it. Uh huh. Hello, guys. Natasha, this is for you. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Hey. Hi, why aren't... Uh, why aren't you at work? Well, why are you not on duty? Um... Okay, go. Mmm. Uh, Natasha, okay. can I have some more? 
<laughs> of course. I have to tell you, it's very tasty. Can you give me your special recipe? Otherwise, I'll be come to it every day. <laughs> I'm not married, and I like to eat healthy. And I like to be spoiled by beautiful women. Oh, so you're single. Michael, why don't you tell us how's work? You already had lunch. Go on and catch some criminals. <laughs> I still have time. Would you know? Yeah, let me tell you. Natasha, I have a question for you. Honey Festival will be on Sunday, in our countryside. <laughs> yeah, dancing and, you know, do you want to go with me? No. <laughs> what do you mean by no? <laughs> I don't get the point, Paul. She's always at home, cleaning, cooking and watching the children. Natasha is young and single. <laughs> she needs time to relax and have some fun, you know? Do you want to go? Yes. Natasha came to me to help with the children, so I'm responsible for her. So, buddy, I'm sorry, but but for the honey holiday, we'll all go together, okay? You are the man of the house, brother. Well, if you want to go, it's okay then. I'll see you. See you. Mm, this product is really good. It's new. I think we're going to do great this year. Here, try it. You have to try it. It's so good. Oh, come here. What? We have 12 competitors this time. Take it. And shut up, Dylan. Now take this pill and a warm tea. Don't refuse it. You need it. Lucy, I don't like it. Are you ready? We have to go. It looks like Lucy is getting sick after all. There is no fever and she has already taken the medicine. Lucy, dear, honey. Such a holiday. It comes once a year. And you're going to miss it? You can go. I'll stay here and watch cartoons. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, you'll stay in bed and watch cartoons. And we'll be back soon. Wow, you're handsome. Oh my god. Exactly. Uh, you said nothing special. Someone has a big mouth. Gran, look at me! Do I have a big mouth too? Uh... Nat <laughs> Natasha, wait for us! <laughs> Theater Town, there is an old tradition to hold the Honey Festival every year. I have to be honest, we are proud of their beekeepers, true professionals, and enthusiasts of their business. Let's treat them with a big applause, dear citizens, let me declare our honey festival open. This is going to now everybody have a great day and let's make the honey these guys have one. Let's go! Come on, ladies, come girls, let's go. Come on. Yes, by the way, it works well against yeah, allergies. Here, here, here. Come. Try some. Look at here you go. Oh Please gosh. try it out. Here's some, some more. Try down, guys. There's honey oh. for everyone. We have plenty of it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Do you like it? I can get you as many as you want. Natasha, tonight you are so beautiful. Even the head of the district asked me who is that pretty woman you are with. I'm so lucky you could come. <laughs> Michael, admit it. You were making it all up. Take it. Okay. Oh, Paul. Aren't you gonna ask me to dance? No. Excuse me. Who is she really to you? You just can't take your eyes off her. Okay, Zoe, let's dance. <laughs> 
please tell me who she is? And who is she having an affair with? Is it you or your brother, huh? Where is Pete? I have lost sight of him. Uh, there, with Rand. Ah. Oh. Natasha, you have to try the honey wine. It's very tasty. I'm sure you like it. Stay right here. I'll be right back. Don't go, please. Or maybe with both of you, huh? I see you're having a good time. I see you are too. Ah, oh, great, really. I think it's time to go. But Michael was going to bring me wine. Oh, really? So Michael will bring you wine. <laughs> What's happening? What are you doing? What's happening? Are you trying to get me in trouble with my brother? What's the matter? What are you talking about? You don't understand? And what do your smiles, wine, dances mean? What smiling dances? What are you, crazy? Wait. So do you want two grown-up men to fight each other because of you? Is that it? If you think that, then you don't know me at all. Natasha! Oh. Paul, have you seen Natasha? I was looking for her. What do you want with her? Hey, I was bringing her some wine. But I spilled everything because of you. Why are you so angry, huh? My intentions are good with her. Natasha is a single woman. She's pretty and independent. I really want to be with her. And if everything goes as planned, I will marry her. How about that? Huh, that's awesome. <clears throat> You know, it really hurts. Are you crazy? We haven't fought since we were kids. Grant, Pete, get in the car, we're leaving. Aha! You are jealous of Natasha. She got you under her spell. No, she doesn't. And you? Go to hell. Natasha, I know you don't want to talk to me. I don't know what came over me. Maybe... Michael is right. I am jealous of you. Damn. I'm not ready for all these emotional experiences. There was nothing like that with Vera. Nothing. I don't know what it is. But I only know one thing. I can't stop thinking of you. I really can. Natasha. Don't be silent. Tell me, please. Paul, are you mumbling here? Yeah, why do you have vodka? Lucy's ill. She got a cold. We need a doctor. What is it? No wheezing, but breathing is tough. Natasha, why are you not taking care of her? You're supposed to be here for this. Instead, you're having fun dancing at the fair, luring men. I don't know how you do things in the city. But don't come here and try to do the same. Zoe, stop it. We're not talking about that now. We'll figure it out later. Just treat my daughter, don't lecture. <sighs> okay, Paul, I will stop. Okay. Write down what medicine she needs. I'll go and buy everything. She's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, I will give you an injection and the fever should go away. You're a good girl, okay? You have to be patient, sweetie. Okay. Now, give her water. And do not give her hot water, only warm. I know, I took care of my brother many times. 
everything's going to be all right. So, can you please take me home? It's dark outside and you're such a gentleman. Well, Paul, I know that I'm a beautiful woman, and I know what I'm worth. I won't throw myself at you anymore. Just help me find the medicine. Hmm? Don't be afraid. I promise I won't stain your honor. There are a lot of men out there. Well, you start looking for it here, and I'll look in the fridge. Well, well, what am I looking for? A bottle or...? Antiviral. Imported. Read the labels. You have a whole pharmacy here. Paul, tell me. Not that I care, but... When... Is Natasha leaving? Maybe never. How is that? Will you marry her? Maybe. You said that you don't need anyone. But now I do. Is she related to you? Why do you think that? She came according to the ad, and I posted it after the inspection. I was looking for a mother for my children and for my house. My parents never interested me. What was I supposed to do? Lose my children? She's on a trial period right now. Hmm. <sighs> yeah? What happened? Sleeping? Well, let her sleep. I'll come back soon. Yeah. All right. Bye. Found them. Yeah? Really? That's great. Uh, yes. Okay. Here's some tea for you. Drink it, and I will write you down uh, how to take the pills. Thank you. The... The tea has a strange taste. What is it? It is white tea. Very healthy. Okay, okay. Write it down. Let me ask you something. What if some ugly girl had come instead of Natasha? Huh? So, would you marry her too? Huh. Zoe, please. I don't have time. <laughs> Write it down. Hello? Hello? What do you want? Do you know where Paul is? He's sleeping. Daddy. What? What do you mean sleeping? Why? Where? What did you expect? Think about it. Don't call him here again, all right? Where's Paul? 
Paul said that your trial period is over. You're done, so... You can leave now. Here. This... This is for your work. For taking care of the children and keeping the house. Thank you very much. That's it. Zoe, wait. How do you know about the trial period? I know everything about the ad. Looking for a wife, appearance doesn't matter. <laughs> do you really believe that it doesn't matter for Paul? And please, tell me something I don't understand. What did you have in mind, silly girl? Look at you. And then look at me. For a whole year we were together and in love. And it really was passionate, burning. We couldn't get enough of each other and even- That's enough. <laughs> look at you. Oh, hello, Natasha. Parties are not good for me, you know? Uh, how are you doing? You don't have to answer that. I see things are going pretty bad. Tell me. Oh. What's going on between Paul and Zoe? Uh, yeah, you would have found about it anyway, my dear. They were dating. Uh, everyone knows about it. Uh, I don't really like Zoe. But, but Paul, he's young. Then something happened between them. They quarreled, and then the committee from the city wanted to take the children away. They were going to take them, but... What committee? What's gonna happen to them? Well, take them to boarding school. Paul is at work all the time. They would grow up without a mother. Didn't Paul tell you about it? I guess he didn't. You're not a silly girl after all. I'm fed up with you. Oh, Natasha. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore, huh? How many times do I have to say it, huh? Where's Paul? I have to talk to him. He's sleeping. Resting after the great night we spent together. Oh, good morning, ladies. So, what are you talking about? We're discussing about the weather, and you stop being so nosy and get out of here. Get your gossip somewhere else. Oh. Uh. Natasha, <laughs> there is no pride in you. How long is 
this gonna take? I'll be ready in a minute. Michael! Will you take me to the station? Yeah, of course. Are you going home? You guessed right. When you'll be back? Never. But wait, I just don't get it. I ask you... If you were coming back, have someone hurt you? I don't want to talk about it. And I don't want to see anyone. Did you and Paul have a fight? Mm, well, Paul is weird. Maybe you'll make up. Huh? You'll never know, right? Michael, let's go. What about the kids? I'm going to miss them. I really will, but I can't stay. Person, but I can't. I have already decided everything. I want to go away and forget everything about this place. Oh, honey, are you up already? How did you sleep? What time is it? My head hurts. Oh, here's my shirt, but why is it here? I washed it so that the stain would not be permanent. You spill tea at night. Tea? Mm-hmm. I don't remember, and I don't understand why I fell asleep. What happened to me? Why? Tired? Nervous because of Lucy? Crap. My daughter is sick, and I slept all night. I'm a terrible father. Zoe, I'm sorry. I fell asleep at your place. That's okay, I that's okay. gave you a lot of trouble. I'll go with I you. I have to go now. I'll see how Lucy is. Really, really, I'll go. Okay. Anyone? Can anyone give me some money? I need surgery. I have a disease. Can you give me some money? Please? I need money for my surgery. Listen. Uh, quit drinking and you won't have to beg anymore. Do we know each other? Huh? I remember. You gave me money to do something for... Nikolai. No, Paul. Who is he to you, huh? Nobody. Now he's nobody. Anyone, please. I need some money for my surgery. Daddy! Hello, my sweetheart. Hello. Oh, and here's your dad. And I'm afraid the other one is here, too. How are you? Oh, she's better now. Isn't that right? That's good. And I brought you the pills. Where's Natasha? Natasha! Paul. Crap. Huh? Please don't yell. Natasha left. She's gone. How's that? How? I don't know. She got all her things and left. Come on, sweetie. Let's take your temperature, okay? If you excuse me. Hold it, will you? Just don't move, honey. Hmm? I don't understand anything. No clothes, not a note. Or maybe she's... <sighs> Paul, where are you going? Come back. Silly girl. She didn't take the money. So arrogant. Stupid. Where are you going, Paul? I think that she's gone now. Amazing what women can do for the men they love the most. What do you want? 
15 days in jail with criminals, huh? Where's Natasha? I took her to the station. Why? Why she cried? You hurt her, man. I asked her to stay with me. What? You heard me? She's a nice woman. <laughs> She's beautiful. We could have something. I want to make her happy, you know? Man, shut up. Okay? Don't get angry, brother. She's not the one for me. She wanted to leave and forget everything. I don't understand. She has to explain to me what happened. a man without a ticket. Need backup. Natasha! Natasha! Come on, man. Give me your ticket. Natasha! You have to give me I'm looking ticket, for a sir, passenger. I have to take you down. Do you have your ticket Natasha! Leave me alone. I need to talk to her. Come Over on, here. Man. Hey, Nick. Calm down. Calm down. Come, come on. Here, come on now. Hey, I need sir. to find her. Calm down. Please stop. Give hold on. Hold on. on. Stop. Come on, Just go. let me go. Come on. I see you didn't find her, huh? You are the one to blame for. You spend the whole night with Zoe. Any woman would be gone. All night? Zoe and I did nothing. And Natasha. She just left us alone. My children loved her, accepted her. And she left us without explaining anything. Left the children. Left me all alone. Gran, don't remind me of her. Mm. She went to the city, and I hope she's happy there. I'll not beg her to come out. That's it. Okay? Uh-huh. Huh. What's happening? Can't you see for yourself? I'm remodeling. A child should grow in a clean flat. 
I threw all the old stuff. The sofa was a junk too. Where's Tolik? He went on a trip. I am the boss at home now. How was your trip? Did you have a good time? Yeah, a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, where should I sleep now? In the kitchen. A mattress will fit there. Natasha, welcome. What are you doing here? Uh, Natasha, what's wrong with you? Hello? Natasha! Why didn't you get a tan? Was the weather that was bad? Good. Natasha, I thought you were on vacation until the 5th. Did you get bored? I think so. Well, the time off certainly didn't do you any good. You still look tired. My husband and I are going to Turkey, all-inclusive. Food and drinks and everything. And, oh, also entertainment. Do you have all those things, too? Cinema, wine, and dominoes. I don't get it. Lisa, Natasha's just kidding. Go back to work now. Now I got it. Not funny. Natasha, what happened? <laughs> Is that what do you call happiness? A beekeeper? Uh, please give me the berry one. And a chocolate. Mm -hmm. And with two children. Stop it, kids are amazing. All, all children are amazing. And when they grow up, boom, I'm here. Thank you. Take it. Natasha, stop moping around. You didn't pass a trial. Whatever. Just think that Paul didn't pass it either. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Forget it. I want to, but I can't. I fell in love. Do you understand that? Don't... Don't yell. People are looking at us. You're stupid if you fell in love. He wiped his feet on you, and you can't forget him. I wish I was there. So I could punch his face, that guy. Sit down. Listen, I feel so bad, worse than before leaving. Before I was tired of loneliness, and I'm tired of resentment, helplessness, and I feel lonely again. Natasha, eat the ice cream. It's already melted. When I saw Paul at the station, I felt my heart almost explode. Come on. I liked him right away. Tall, handsome. With a sense of humor. He was teasing me all the time. So kindly. Right, keep torturing yourself. Do you know how he looked at me? Like a man is supposed to. A lot of men are walking by, and to them I am no one. They don't notice me, but Paul looked at me in a special way. My body just chills. Yeah. Now your brain is frozen too. Forget about him. He already did, and now you have to. Easier said than done. Dylan, where were you? I was just having lunch. What? Lunch for three hours? Dylan, if this happens again, I'll fire you, got it? Oh, please. 
I'm sorry, but I don't know what's going on. Last few days you haven't been yourself. Is something bothering you? Say what? My brother is getting married. So mom asked me to help her with the marrings, you yeah. know, so I was late. Sorry. Are you drunk? I only have one beer, I promise. Get out of here! Are you crazy? Working drunk with the bees? You have become a madman, Paul. And all because of that woman. Yes, I know. Everyone has been talking about it. I will never fall in love, and I won't ever get married. I don't want to be like you. I will kick your never. butt. You're just a kid. How dare you give me advice? Just get out of here. What? Oh. This is Inspector Harrison from the committee regarding your children. The children are just fine. Uh. Yeah, the beginning of the school year is coming very soon. We must make sure that the situation changes for the better. If it haven't, then we will have to take... Actions accordingly. What actions? Are you talking about an orphanage? Exactly. Exactly. Shoot. Lucy, take off the towel. Is your head dry? <laughs> Peter, now get dressed. Come here, Lucy. Uh, your ears are clean. You're hurting Show me him. your nails. Okay, you don't need to cut them. What else? Uh, Paul, I vacuumed everything. Uh, but I didn't wash the dishes. I'll wash them now. Uh, you don't have to fuss, Paul. I think everything is great. It would have been great if someone unreliable had not left us. Give are me you your... talking about Natasha? I won't give my children to the orphanage. Never, you hear me? Give me your hand here. Okay. Well done. So where are the towels? Take it, dear. Take it. Ugh, you got fit like Cinderella. Hmm. Paul would be stunned. How's it going? Are you back together or not? I'm working on it. Oh. Oh. It looks like someone's coming. I wonder what they're here for. Well, it's a little cleaner. Yeah, a little. This is the letter A. I know how to read it. This is an apple, and also I can count. One, two, three, four, five. I am four years old. <laughs> four, huh? Good well point. done. Well done. Listen, Paul. It's good to see that you're taking care of your children. It's good to see that, huh? Yes, it's very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The children are well-groomed, and they are not afraid of anything. Uh, mm. uh, do you want Manka's milk, huh? Huh? It's our goat. She's called Manka. Oh, go get uh -huh. some. Mm, yeah. Everything is great, but, um... But what? Uh, you see, Paul? We are not sure that the children will be better at home than under supervision at the orphanage. Are you still drinking, Paul? Hmm? I don't drink at all. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. dear. Wow. Mmm. <clears throat> it's delicious, Lucy. Come here. Tell me, honey. Does your dad hit you? Don't be afraid. You can tell us everything honestly. Come you on. Can tell me. You can tell her. Don't be afraid. Once he wanted to hit me with a belt, but my new mother did not allow it. She stopped oh. him. Ah, a new mother. This changes everything. Hello? Yes, Paul and I will get married soon so that the kids would have a <laughs> full-fledged family. Isn't that right, honey? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, an unexpected twist. Any other surprises for us? Yeah. What's your name? Zoe, nice to meet you. Thanks. Well, well. The apartment is bright on both sides. We're fixing it. Everything is new. The kitchen? It's very bright. Uh, bathrooms? No, adjoining. Why? Don't you like them? 
Wait, hello? There goes another one. No one wants adjacent ones. <sighs> oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> how's the baby? Hello, mm -hmm. look who's here. So, how's everything going? And you? How are you doing? Nothing to complain about. I thought that by making cosmetic repairs, we will set it faster. But no such thing. I think it's gonna take us years. Mm -hmm. Do you want more potatoes? No, thanks. Did you see what your sister has become? Root out of the blue. Mm. Nothing to complain. And she thinks I owe her millions. Mm. Look, everything will settle down. We won't get along with her. And over the years, her character will only get worse. Listen, I have an idea. I think we could. Can you still take care of Shusha? No problem. Alex will be happy. I'll fix the apartment and I'll take them back soon. Natasha, you're... you're crazy! Fix the apartment! So many years you live there, you know every corner of it. Are you willing to do that? If I were you, I would never do it. I don't care. As long as they're comfortable. Did you pledge yourself? No, we hired people. It's great. Oh. Hello, Natasha. Natasha, we did not have dinner yet. We were waiting for mm -hmm. you. Uh, this is Stephen. Stephen Johnson. I'm Talek's colleague. Very glad to meet you. N Natasha, sit down. Yeah, please. So, why are we drinking? Actually, I don't drink. But on this occasion, I can. Do you mind if I do, Natasha? Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, no, 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 um, no alcohol here. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well then, to our acquaintance. Natasha, listen. I have a good pension. My children are grown up, independent. They can support themselves. I have a cottage in the country. It's a small one, but my own. I am fond of gardening. Cucumbers, tomatoes, onions. I grow my own vegetables without any additives. And Stephen has an apartment? I have. It's in a brick building. It's not cheap. I have two balconies. I have to tell you it's not big, but it's beautiful. The market is very close. Any woman would love to live there. Stefan? Stephen. Uh, Stephen, yes. Why are you telling me this? Are you teasing me? Well, are you? They said you were very nice, Natasha. But in real life, you're even better. And where do you work? In the library. Oh, that's great. In a library. Before I was laid off, I was a deckhand on a ship. Tolik knows. Do not reproach me. 
I didn't steal your man. What are you looking at? Change the water in the basin. Can you see it's dirty? So much for an assistant. Who asks you? You don't give orders in here. You're too young. Did you bring the water? Now water them up. Whoosh. Use your hands. Come on, get out of here. What have you done? Dylan. Careful with the frame, and put it back gently. Got Dad, it, got it. Daddy, yes, honey. She's really bad, Daddy. Who? Her. She hid Mom's photo, and she also put on her earrings. Lucy, I'm begging you. Don't pay attention to her. We'll figure it out. Okay? I like Natasha more. I also like Natasha more. Then bring her back. <sighs> Lucy. She won't come back, sweetheart. I think she's gone for good. There you are. It's time to set the table. Daddy will come soon. Well, give it to me. What are you hiding here? Natasha, sorry, Dad. <laughs> well, you can write whatever you want. He will never get it. But I have Natasha's address. She will get it. Well... Whoa, whoa, what's this? Uh-huh. These are her letters to Paul. Well... I also have a new envelope here. Mm-hmm. You just need to write the address for me. I'll write it. I can do it better. The water is so good. Yes, it's great. Ladies, good evening. Hello. The rose is for you, Natasha. Thank you. This is Arena, my friend. Nice to meet you. Me too. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we can go to the movies. I can. But you go. She will go. Have fun. I'll see you later. <laughs> Rena, wait. I have to go. I'll just go and have some fun. Well, let's go. Hello, Paul. I'm not young nor very beautiful, but I really dream of a big and happy family. Yeah? What were you expecting, Paul? <laughs> Did you like the movie? It was funny. I like military. Or detective ones. But I love comedies too. Mm -hmm. Aren't you cold? No, don't take me home. 
I will go by myself. You don't have to worry. There's no way. I will walk you home. I'm a gentleman. Stephen, what do you need me for? What do you mean by that, Natasha? <laughs> you are lonely, middle-aged. I am too. Why don't we brighten up our lives, huh? Let's rule all together, you and me. We will even raise our grandchildren. What do you think about that? <laughs> grandchildren? I don't even have children. You really want to? Grandchildren are... children too. You really don't get it, huh? I'm asking you to marry me. We will have a modest wedding. Only close relatives from both sides. Not too fancy. But wherever you want to have it. You can even pick the menu. Are you proposing to me? Well, yes. I'm a practical person. I never make fake promises and... Never take my words back. If you say yes, I will marry you. <sighs> That's it. Thank you for the evening. Goodbye. You still haven't said yes. Do... Do you... Do you agree to marry me? I always imagined when I would be proposed, something special would happen. For example, oh, the moon would fall from the sky, or there would be a meteor shower. But nothing, nothing like that happened. I felt nothing. But what did you say? Hmm? About the meteors? What's the point? Let's be honest. You're the most convenient choice for me. I'm a man of his prime. Marriage is a big step. Just think about it. I'll step back and wait for your answer. Thank you for the movie and the flowers. Goodbye. <laughs> so happy, but you have to stop working. You have to shave. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but honey, why are you so distant? You don't love me anymore? Come Zoe, on, tell me. caress me instead. I'm not as stubborn as Paul. I won't refuse, but I won't get married. I'm telling you. Oh, you silly oh. old man. <laughs> I forgot that you were here. Sorry, I want some water. Tolix, stay with me, please. <sighs> Tolik. Tell me the only thing left for me is to grow old with a man that I don't love. What are you talking about? Even you and Tata are in love. You know that she is not so bright, you know? Sorry. What about me? Am I a, a bad person? You're not bad. I swear. Do we have vodka?
Good morning, girls. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. How are oh. you? Oh. Do you have a letter for me today? No, sweetie. There's nothing for you. And are you sure? Have a look in your bag. No, no. I've already looked. Maybe tomorrow there'll be something for you. Oh, hello, Lucy. If you're looking for Zoe, you can find her in the store shopping, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Uh, no one cares even if I die. Are you gonna take it? There was no letter from Natasha. Did you write the correct address? Of course, my dear daughter. I want her to get back with Dad. Listen to me carefully. If Natasha does not answer, then she doesn't need you, and she doesn't need Dad. Do you get it? You are lying, and I am not your daughter! No! Lucy, what are you doing here? <gasps> Paul, <laughs> what a surprise. I came here to buy her candies. Sweetheart, do you want chocolate or sweets? Honey, why are you crying? Huh? Sit down. Well, you don't like Zoe, right? I see. Where do I start? Okay. Valerie, the wisest of them all, looked at Prince Ivan and said, What's the matter? Why are you so sad, my prince? I'll have to go far away, but don't worry. I always look upon you. And she turned into a white dove and flew away. Daddy. Hmm? Is Prince Ivan really sad? It says here that he cried inconsolably. Hmm. <sighs> Let's keep reading. Hello, Tolik. What is this about? Natasha, take a seat. Have a drink. I ordered especially for you. Natasha, can you please share your future plan with us? Which plans? I have no plans. Did you say yes to him? I don't like him. That's my only answer. I knew it. Sister, think carefully. We have a family and you will be alone. Stephen is a decent, serious man, so don't be so picky. And I mean it, sister. Stephen won't cheat on you. Not at his age. Natasha, we want only the best for you. He will take good care of you, and the best part is that he will always look young. Come on, what do you say? He is bald. He's a nice man. Boring. Respectable. I don't like him. I also do. Independent. Oh my god. Why do I have to persuade you? How many proposals have you had in your life? This is the first. Well, what if this is the last and only one? Of course. Let, let me look at them. Yeah, let's go. 
Natasha. Natasha, I... I want to apologize for... Don't do it. I will marry you. Well, we are halfway there. The marriage application is done. We have the rings. Well, money is for my previous marriage. But for you, my love, uh, I'll buy you the most expensive one. I will not. It's stingy this time, I... I don't need anything expensive. I don't like to be a show-off. Well, I will not force you then, my love. Natasha. Paul? Close your eyes. Why? Well, close them. You will not regret it. I just did. Why didn't you close your eyes? I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> Do you like it? I also look for your suit. Hmm? You just need to try it on, honey. I think you're gonna look very handsome in it. Zoe, the thing is that I never proposed to you, you know? So do it, honey. I found all about the process. When to apply, when we can hold the wedding. I know everything. Zoe. I really appreciate that you helped me with the children. Mm -hmm. Even trying to love them. Zoe, I see it's hard for you. You're, mm -hmm. you're doing the best you can. But I already told you. And I'll repeat it. We will not have a wedding. I will not marry you. Okay? Is this final? Yes. <laughs> I see. Listen to me. Do you have any idea of how much time I spent on your stinking children, huh? Don't you? The kids are sleeping. It's fine, Paul. But you know what? They will not stay with you for long. Just wait for the commission of the rights of children, and I really hope they put them in an orphanage this time. Well, unless your rotten essence came out, you wench. What did you say? Get out of my house. <laughs> I will. Alex, stop. Stop. Let's agree on something, okay? I don't want to hear any complaints about you today. Okay, Mom, I promise. Go on. Bye. Peter. Peter! Natasha, what are you doing? I thought... it was someone else. Uh, how often do you see these things? Sometimes... I walk around the city and it seems as if Paul... is driving a car. And yesterday I thought the neighbor's girl was... Paul's daughter Lucy. Natasha. Aren't you forgetting that you're getting married? Get ready for the wedding. Just forget about them. A time for happiness. Come on, I'm serious. Me too. Yeah, thank you. I know you're drinking because you can't stop thinking about her. Yes. You know, I, I, I was so angry when she left, you know? I thought, in the end, everything will pass. But no, it didn't. Have you ever been like this? No. Thank God, no. Come on, you have to eat something. 
We have a lot of food here. I'm not eating all of it. Come on, anything? Come on, bro. Wait. Cut. Cut the crap. My kids miss her. Always saying, get Mother Natasha back. Make her come back. Do you know what I mean? She's so sensitive, gentle, beautiful, my soulmate. Wait, I have an idea. We're gonna find Natasha right now, okay? Calm down, man. I don't even know where she lives. Zoe, wench, threw away her letters. And Natasha doesn't answer me. Not a problem. I'm gonna call some friends. You will see. No, stop it. Please. Maybe. It's just too late for that. Well, Natasha, let me congratulate you on the upcoming marriage and wish you all the best there is in your new life together and... Vera, please... why do you have to be so formal? Let's just drink to Natasha. Here's to you. For you. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray. Natasha, I'm so happy for you. You finally found your man, and everything is going to be fine. Oh. No, it won't, mm. girls. I don't love him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, love yeah. is not the main thing. There's also respect, compassion, attachment. Natasha, mm -hmm. you are not a young girl anymore to be dreaming about love. You know what I mean. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. There's a saying that you fall in love over time, so be patient. Why are you doing this? People always dream about love. Love is everywhere. There's always someone looking for love. Here, look. I was filing a newspaper. And accidentally found this. He's desperate. Natasha, we are waiting for you. There's more here. Natasha, come back, please. So romantic. Mm -hmm. Here's another. Natasha, I love you. Natasha, what are you doing? N Natasha. Natasha, are you What's all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, you. Something's wrong. She's nervous. Recognize me. Nobody's home. Irina, here's what I think. Maybe I'm being stupid. I came here. 
to someone else's house, cook lunch. And I'm waiting inside. What if Paul's not the one who wrote me those messages? Well, I guess it's too late to run away now. He's here. I gotta go. Bye. Hooray! Mom Natasha has arrived! Hello, my sweethearts. Natasha! <laughs> Lucy! I knew you'd come back. Please tell me that you're going to take us to school now. Look at my backpack. My daddy gave it to me. I can take all my books. It's beautiful. Hello? I came back. I see. If you don't want me, I can go. 